this is Paula, and we're going to talk about something very personal today, and that is staying fresh. Now, here is a bottle of deodorant, and the first ingredient in this deodorant is aluminum chlorohydrate. You see that? Aluminum hydrochlorohydrate. Anyways, um, it's been said that um, aluminum is just not good for our bodies. That when we put deodorant that has aluminum under our arms, that our bodies actually absorb it and it can cause problems. So for many years, I've endeavored to find replacements for using deodorant. And I found three products that when working together and using them together have been very effective. The first product is baking soda. Now, baking soda is typically used either in baking or we stick open one and stick it in the refrigerator to absorb the odors. But see, that's what makes baking soda so um, important is because it doesn't, doesn't just cover the odors, it actually absorbs odors. So that makes it effective as far as replacing deodorant. The second product that I like to use is called tea tree oil. You see it there? Tea tree oil. Now, tea tree oil has natural antibacterial and natural uh, antimicrobial properties in it. So, just to give you a little background, when we perspire or sweat, our bodies release waste products and toxins and fats, etc., uh, from our body. And when they come into contact with any bacteria that's on our skin, then that's how we get BO or our body odor. <laughs> okay, so if you have a product that's antibacterial, that will either keep reduce the bacteria that's on your skin or eliminate it altogether or keep it down. The third product that is very effective is, is vinegar. In this particular case, I'm using white vinegar. Now, many people uh, like uh, use apple cider vinegar for many things, and it is good. In this particular case, I use the white vinegar. Now, vinegar is known for its ability to kill bacteria and mold. So, what other great product, you know, for to keep the bacteria down on our bodies? Um, now, for ladies. <laughs> don't try this after just shaving your arms. Or men, if you shave your arms, don't try it either. Um, because it will sting. Okay, so um, shave the night before and then use this in the morning. But what I've done is um, I have taken the one ounce container of tea tree oil and I have put half of it in this small uh, spray bottle and I filled it with water and labeled it tea tree so that I can know what's in it. Um, but now, um, it, I keep this bottle a lot of times in my kitchen um, because, um, once again, tea tree oil is good for antibacterial, has antibacterial properties. So when I'm cleaning, I actually spray instead of using that strong Lysol and bleach and things like that. I figure this is doing just as good in a natural way. So anyways, this is my tea tree oil. And then what I do is I took about two cups of the vinegar and put it in this bottle. And you see I labeled it vinegar. I filled it up. And so you can kind of see the size, compare the two sizes of the bottles here. Okay, but this is my vinegar bottle, and I keep one of these in the kitchen as well because that's good for spraying on my fruits and my vegetables, killing any germs or anything that's floating on those. Anyways, that's just a little side note. So with those three products in hand, first what I do is I take some tea tree oil, rub it in my hands, and then rub it under my arms. Now, tea tree oil has a pretty strong smell, but you'll find that your body will absorb the smell. So don't worry about that. Um, so tea tree oil first, then a little bit of vinegar. Tap, tap, <laughs> okay. And then um, take some of the baking soda and just put a little bit in my hand and then I put it together, so a little bit like that, and pat, 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 pat. And there we are, <laughs> natural deodorant. And now, 
If you like, you know how much I love this sweet almond oil. It just has the most wonderful smell. But if you wanted to have a nice smell, then you could just put a little bit in your hand and just kind of pat, pat, pat that there. And get the baking soda off your hand, too, <laughs> later. Uh, anyways, so um, just as a thought, uh, something to do that provides something that absorbs the odor, something that's antibacterial, two things that are antibacterial. Once again, baking soda absorbs odor. Tea tree oil is antibacterial, antimicrobial. And your vinegar is antibacterial as well. Kills bacteria. So anyways, it's worth a try if you'd like instead of using this that has the aluminum in it. <laughs> If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, bye.